Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So uh, I got a lot of sales, um, at least for me, because I remembered an important thing is you got to list items for sale. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, really with eBay, I've been on kind of like a bit of a hiatus because I got so busy with stuff and I said I was going to get back strong with it and I didn't. And then I finally did uh, this past weekend. I started, I said, let me get into these shelves of stuff that I have this potential inventory and start looking at it. And uh, I started listing up not a ton of stuff, but maybe like 15 items, something like that. And uh, man, wouldn't you know it? My sales just picked up like that. Um, of course, a lot of it is items that I listed, but uh, man, I tell you, whenever you start listing some items up, uh, it stimulates eBay. It definitely stimulates the algorithm because I started having a bunch of other little sales that were uh, not not new items. They were been there for quite a while and items I wouldn't expect to sell. You know, I didn't know when they were going to sell. So that kind of revitalized my interest. Uh, so now I'm gonna get back strong in with it and uh, uh, with the intent of starting to actually go out and source again, I haven't done it in a while. That and uh, spoiler, I, if, if, if it goes through, I'm, I'm working on it. If, if the deal is finalized, I may have won a auction lot. that could be one of the most epic toy lots I've ever got. It's a big investment. If it goes through, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, it will be uh, really a sight, uh, an epic sight to behold. Some really interesting stuff, and I can't wait to finalize that, get the stuff in here, and make a video about it, and sell a lot of the stuff. Uh, if it works out, it'll be an epic find for my collection and a lot of good reseller fodder. One thing I did notice was a lot of my sales are almost seem like a strong portion of them are all promoted listings. Are you guys experiencing that? Is how is are you still getting non promoting listing sales or are they just all promoted listings? Anyways, uh, let me show you the sales I've had recently. And yeah, I had over almost 15 over the, on the weekend. And uh, for me, for uh, just getting back kind of back into it at all, uh, that's quite a bit for me. So we'll get those numbers back up. All right. Got a nice, pretty big lot of sales from the weekend. Uh, cause I started listing and man, it really made a difference. Uh, like I mentioned, <laughs> so, uh, got a total of 14 items here. So, uh, a lot of old stuff that had been sitting there for a while, like these three little Z bot vintage Z bot figures right there. 1304 total paid by the customer for those. So that's cool. Get those out of here. Uh, then I had these like pretty cheap made in China DC Batman and Robin blasters. Uh, and I just got some loose darts and put it with it. Those came in, you know, when I bought like a, a bag of Nerf guns and those happened to be in there. I put those for sale and they finally sold us another one. 1286 total paid by the customer. So that's pretty neat. Uh, tested out this GameCube, cleaned it up, sold that one. Um, 68.96 total paid by the customer. I've get, still got a couple game cubes for, for my you know my own personal collection. Uh, this game found some good board games at uh, Goodwill not too long a while back here. Uh, Imagine the Visual Charades game. 40.52 total paid by the customer for that game. So that one paid off. That was nice. Oh, okay. Uh, this has been sitting here forever. And I finally, you know, I used to not really value Rock Band. I used to not think it would sell for very well. I guess they, they've went up in price. This is the uh, Xbox 360 Fender Stratocaster for Rock Band with the strap and the battery cover. Uh, that one, 76.01 total paid by the customer. And then uh, of an old PlayStation 2 Guitar Hero guitar, it was not in good shape, so I took the neck off and put it for sale. And that neck, guitar neck there sold. Uh, that one was uh, 1877 total paid by the customer. Then uh, here's some Transformer G1 parts. These are all like very partial figures in bad shape. Um, so three of them. 
I took those parts and those finally sold. They've been sitting for a while. Those G1 transformer parts, 2131 total paid by the customer. And then I put decided to put up a Nintendo vintage, uh, old, the original gray zapper for sale for 20 bucks, free shipping. And it sold like right away. So I put a second one up for 21.99 and then it sold like pretty much right away. So maybe I'm a little low on those, but I sold two zappers there. One for 20 and one for 22. And then I put up the Ness RF adapter uh, for, uh, yeah, sold for 11.14 total paid by the customer. Now here's an old one I've had for a long time. It's a lot of like, I think about 14 of these McDonald, vintage McDonald's train pieces. Sorry, they're in a bag. Here's a Barbie one. Not great, but getting rid of, getting rid of them, but they sold for 14.39 total paid by the customer. I put a lot my whole sale on my whole store on sale too, so that's part of it. But the sales weren't kicking in even until I started listing, though it seemed like. Okay, uh, I put together another refurbished nest lot. Uh, so it's a nice lot. Two nice controllers. I even threw in a, a third one, a Nest Mac controller, because those are pretty not very valuable. Original Zapper, five games, Tetris, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Super Mario Duck Hunt. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I guess that's the best game in the lot. And then uh, Schwarzenegger Predator. That was a cool, cool cover, but not a great game. And a nice console. Uh, 200 bucks free shipping for that. Uh, I refurbished that console, and hopefully somebody enjoys that. Then, uh, okay, uh, this Beast Man arm, arm shoulder pad, 1286 total paid by the customer. And then. Uh, late gi joe like later later version of flint i think maybe the echo warrior flint 694 total paid by uh, his helmet 694 total paid by the customer all right here's a nice batch of sales including some motu a lot of motu i sold that uh panthor from my recent lot pretty nice panthor 39 33 total paid by the customer for that one uh then here's one i've had for a while i uh, sold this blaster hawk vintage masters of the universe just has one little ding on the nose here otherwise it's a pretty nice one 42 80 total paid by the customer then uh, sold a new adventures of he-man piece this is a skeletor helmet that little accessory there sold for 1089 total paid by the customer uh, the only non motu item i sold those two lakeshore uh, learning toys subtraction machine and multiplication machine those two machines sold for uh, uh, 3291 total paid by the customer. And another Masters of the Universe weapon, uh, Snout Spout. His axe, uh, 2177 total paid by the customer. And finally, a vintage Motu Stinkor with his armor. Pretty nice Stinkor. 1860 total paid by the customer. All right, I got some sales here. Uh, I sold another one of those Funko uh, Ace the Bat Hound. Uh, figures that I had that were in damaged packaging. That one sold for $18.55, total paid by the customer. Then I sold this, uh, I forgot what figure it goes to. These are vintage X-Men accessories that go to a Marvel X-Men figure. Uh, $9.59, total paid by the customer. Then I sold this little micro figure. This is from a company called Arco. They make some obscure toys. Uh, these are a little fantasy sword and sorcery figure right there. That sold for uh, $13.05, total paid by the customer. And finally, from my old refrigerator, I had taken all the bins and put them up for sale. And this is the last one to sell, the dairy bin from a long time ago. Um, that one sold for $25.71, total paid by the customer. All right, here's a little Goodwill auction I won. Um, paid about $30 bucks for it. It has a vintage 1986 G.I. Joe bazooka floating bath toy soap dish. Uh, the He-Man ones, the Masters of the Universe ones of these are, can sell for good money. This one doesn't sell for as much, but I'm hoping to sell it for maybe like 30, 40 bucks and make some of my money back. And then it had this vintage Imperial two-headed dragon in there. So I thought that was really cool. So I can acquire that for my collection, basically. Pretty neat piece. So that's what I'll do. I'll sell this and then keep this. It's just kind of a neat little beast. So hopefully this one works out. Uh, here's a funny one. My wife at the thrift store bought this aftershave for me. It was $3.99. Old Spice aftershave. And I didn't think anything of it. And after I shaved, I put a nice little 
a little uh, smack of this on my face and it was fine uh, but it just something about it didn't seem quite right I mean it was okay but you know you know what I'm saying just it seemed a little bit off <laughs> and then I realized uh, I took a look at this box and uh, where we got here oh oh it must be on the bottle yeah yeah 1997 <laughs> Vintage, uh, over 25 year old aftershave, uh, pretty much full. So this is actually people collect this. I think technically you might not be supposed to like. Well, I guess you could sell sell aftershave, but this is the old school one that has like uh, contains alcohol, denat, whatever that is, water, propylene, glycol, fragrance, benzene, alcohol, benzyl alcohol. Old Spice original aftershave. I'm gonna put it for sale for 30 bucks. Um, but yeah, I put a, a nice coat of it on my face, and it. My wife said it smelled good, but you know, kind of interesting. All right, here's a few sales. Uh, I sold uh, these old Space 1999 VHS um, sealed cassette tapes, VHS tapes. Uh, I used to have a bunch of these. Uh, I still have a ton of this this one, the blue one. Uh, set three and this is set two uh, old Amazon seller I bought their inventory many years ago and uh, this stuff finally sold 1523 oh no 1616 total paid by the customer it's a nice little media mail ship um, then we got uh, I sold a multi lot of uh, some just average condition vehicles two vehicles and three figures uh, put those together and made a $60 sale for those Masters of the Universe figures vintage and then I sold a vintage Masters of the Universe Evil Lynn with her complete with her her wand um, 1523 total paid by the customer all right guys well that's gonna do it for this video I hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one